Good morning. Today is Monday, January 23rd, and this is the International Space Station update from Mission Control Center at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. The Orbit 2 team is on duty today. It's being led by Flight Director Dina Cantella, along with veteran astronaut Shannon Lucen, who is serving as the uh, Capcom today. On board the Expedition 30 crew includes and here's a photograph of the crew from left to right. We have Anton uh, Shakaplarov, and in the center front is Commander Dan Burbank. Behind him, Anaton, um, Anatoly uh, Ivanishin, Oleg Kononenko, Andre Kopers, and Don Pettit. That is the Expedition 30 crew. It will be a busy week for the crew. It includes the undocking of the Progress 45 today at 4.10 p.m. Central Time. And the open hatchway of the Progress is an 88-pound mini satellite called the Chibis M, and it will be deployed tomorrow to spend several years collecting data on plasma wave activity in the ionosphere. Chibis M will be deployed at 5:19 p.m. Central Time, at a point in which the Progress will be 62 miles above and 7,300 miles behind the International Space Station. After the satellite is deployed, Russian flight controllers will send commands to deorbit the Progress 45 so that it can burn up in the atmosphere over the Pacific. On Wednesday, Progress 46 will launch and dock to the station on Friday evening. So today at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the new Progress 46 cargo craft is in the final prepara preparations for launch. Uh, it will launch on Wednesday, U.S. time, early Thursday morning on Baikonur time. Progress 46 is loaded with 2,050 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen and air, and 926 pounds of water, and 2,778 pounds of maintenance and experiment equipment for a total of 2.9 tons of cargo. The new Progress is scheduled again for liftoff on Wednesday at 5.06 p.m. Central Time. It will automatically dock to the pier's docking compartment on Friday at 6.08 p.m. Central Time. Today, the Expedition 30 crew is conducting the fifth SPHERES uh, Zero-G Robotics Competition. Thousands of students will be involved in that activity today, uh, many of those via webcast. Plus, several hundred are in attendance at MIT and the Erasmus Center in the Netherlands. SPHERES stands for Synchronized Position Hold Engage Reorient Experimental Satellites. And these uh, satellites are three uh, eight-inch diameter miniaturized satellites, and they can operate in a number of environments, including the International Space Station. The experiment uh, offers an opportunity for high school students to design research for the International Space Station. And as part of the competition, students write uh, algorithms for the SPHERES satellites to accomplish tasks that are relevant to uh, future space missions. Each year, the game changes, and this year, uh, the MIT group, uh, in an effort to encourage cooperation with the players, uh, between the players, created a fictitious scenario where two satellites need to uh, mine for a new source of energy at two asteroids. Of course, uh, all of this is a virtual experiment. Don Pettit and Andre Coopers, um, Coopers will be assisting with that experiment today, and they'll be talking with astronaut Greg Shematov, who is at MIT, helping to facilitate the event. Also today on board the space station, Dan Burbank will be performing the in-flight maintenance removing and replacing of the atmosphere revitalization major constituent analyzer. And in the afternoon, he will be sampling fluid from the Japanese Kobo internal thermal control system. That sample built will be returned to the ground. During this morning's mission management team meeting, managers were told that the space station is in good shape in regards to consumables with enough food, water, and propellant to operate and that the Progress 46 would carry a new handle to the station's ARED, which is one of the pieces of equipment, uh, exercise equipment on board the station. The crew is also uh, today, uh, the managers were informed that the crew also today was taking, were taking pictures of the end effector or the grappling mechanism on the station's robotic arm uh, for examination. And flight controllers are also monitoring a piece of uh, satellite debris from the uh, Fengyong Chinese satellite. Um, they began um, monitoring that earlier and are beginning preparations in case the uh, debris avoidance maneuver is required. And if it is required, that will occur on Tuesday morning. This is your update for Monday, January 23rd from Mission Control Houston.